you've all been well. So it's been a while since I did my last video and I've just been so busy and there's been so many changes that haven't happened in my life that um, I just haven't had time to make YouTube videos. So and even the one I did post like last week for, on the trench coat that was filmed like three weeks ago and I just didn't have time to edit it or anything. But anyway, um, I have some exciting news. Um, I'm moving to London in two months. It's so crazy. Um, so I am going to be doing a student exchange um, from here to London and I'm just going to be swapping with like my um, the sister university in London for my university in Sydney and yeah I'm so excited it's been like it's been in the running like I've been planning this for almost a year and um, it's all official like I've gotten the acceptance from there and I've gotten everything like the okay to go for my university so it's like it's real it's happening and I'm so excited and um, as you can probably tell because I'm like literally can't speak properly but um, yeah, because I've been go I'm going to London, I've decided to, um, well, I decided to leave my job as well. So um, for those of you guys who don't know or didn't know, um, I did work at an accounting firm for three years. Um, I was doing like an internship, it was a permanent internship and I was basically doing the exact same work that a graduate would or even someone older. And by the time I'd left, like by the time, like from a few weeks ago, I was at the stage where I was like, you know, training people, doing everything that a qualified accountant does. So, um, yeah, I just got to a point where I was like, you know what, I need a break. I haven't had a break since like year 10. I've been working so hard since then. And um, yeah, I didn't do anything after year 12, finished. I literally just went into this job because I was excited to start something new. Probably a bad idea, I should have had a good break after that. But, you know, I've decided that I need a break and I need um, a year off to do the things that I like to do and just to enjoy university because I haven't had the chance to do that either because I've been doing night classes for almost three years now. So yeah, I have two weeks more um, until my final exam so I'm trying to get into the study mode for that and then after that um, I'm pretty much free for a month and a half. So I'm going to be doing a lot more videos, I'm going to be doing, um, hopefully starting a blog. I know, it's crazy. And um, just, you know, meeting up with friends, doing the farewell things, um, going out and just um, catching up with everyone before I leave. Because I do leave in the first week of um, January. And then I think university starts like a week after I get there. So quite crazy. And um, yeah, I'm just really, really looking forward to living in England. And I know the weather is going to be horrible. And I guess I'm, that's probably something I'm going to miss the most about Sydney. Because we have such fantastic weather. It's always sunny. It's always... It's usually hot, so you know it's been really good. But um, you know it's time for a change, and I'm looking forward to going um, and shopping in London and travelling in Europe as well. Um, if you guys do live in London, if you live in the UK, let me know if there's any place that I should be checking out, or if there are any kind of um, shops that I should be looking for. I'm really, really looking forward to um, Uniqlo. I think it's called. Well, it's um, H&M because we don't have H&M here. Um, Top Man, you guys all know I love Top Man and um, Zara because Zara in Sydney is really really bad. What else do I have on my list? I can't remember them all now but like I've been making a list and I've been saving so much like that's why I haven't been doing any haul videos and I'm not going to till I actually leave and um, get to London because I've just stopped shopping altogether because I want to save and it's been pretty good. <laughs> I've been pretty good. I only bought one thing which were a pair of um, $100 velvet jeans, but they're on sale, so I don't feel too bad. Um, but yeah, I've been saving and I've just been looking forward to going over. And um, I'm not really sure where I'm going to travel. Like, I've definitely got Paris on my list, and I'm going to be meeting one of the YouTubers that I'm friends with who's um, French. She's, um, I think, Shirley. Her name's Shirley, obviously, but um, I think her username is like The Dolls. But I'll, I'll leave a link for her below. She's really cool and uh, she speaks in French so I don't really understand what she's saying half the time. But I love watching her videos and she does like you know, really good nail tutorials and stuff as well. So yeah, we've become friends and I'm looking forward to meeting her. And if there are any other of you who want to actually meet me or if you are like living in London and you don't want to show me around, let me know. I need friends. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, if there are any kind of places in the UK you think I should visit as well, like just to kind of touristy places, I have no idea. So let me know in the description bar below. In the description bar, comments below um, where I should look and like plan at going. So yeah, I actually have some like tour guides that I've gotten from um, 
one of the guys at work who got these. This one's for Paris and this one's for London. It has all the really nice um, and probably really expensive places to shop. Like, um, what did I see? I think I saw like the addresses for Joe Malone. Um, like all the other like gentleman stores as well. Not like dirty gentlemen's like as in like tailoring stores and all that kind of stuff and food places. So I've been looking through those, really excited. And then I got this um, as one of the presents from when I was leaving work. And it says a thousand things to do in London for under ten. I think my, my boss said ten quid. Is that what you say like for a, t a pound? Is it a quid? I don't know. I really need to like Google um, what Europe, how the um, British money system works. Cause I have no idea at all. But uh, I've been looking through this and it looks so exciting. So um, I'm probably going to make a list of it, like things that I want to. Um, go to and like post a note at all. Oh, and uh, by the way, I have new hair as well. It's it's like heaps shorter than what I had before. Um, it's hidden under a cap because I don't have time to um, actually do anything with it today. Because I um I have university this afternoon. It's one of my last night classes, <laughs> and um, I thought you know what I'm going to be getting ready or anyway, so I may as well film a quick video. Um, but I didn't get time to do that. I probably will show you like maybe I'll do a hair tutorial. I don't know. I always say this, but I don't know. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'll see what I do, but it's, like, a lot shorter than I want, not wanted it, but it's a lot shorter than I thought I would go. And it's good, you know, it's, it's a nice change, but I'm, I'm, I miss my old, like, longer fringe and longer hair, but, um, it'll grow back, it'll grow back. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you guys are all good, and if there's anything else you want to ask me, or any other kind of videos you want me to do, let me know. I might actually do a, um, tag video next week, just because... I don't want to do like a proper video where I have to um, actually put effort into it because I want to be studying. So I might do a tag video and I think I'm going to be going to um, an art gallery thing, like a student art gallery thing for one of my friends. So I might actually um, vlog that. But I'll see. Do you guys actually like my vlogs? Let me know if you like the vlogs because I did the um, Surrey Hills vlog and that was so much fun for me to do. And I think it's like a lot more interesting to watch than watching like me just sit here in my bedroom, just like doing nothing. Anyway, I'm rambling now, but um, I hope you guys will take care, and if you have any other questions for me, or any other kind of comments you want to leave, let me know in the description, in the comment section below, and I will get to them and hopefully reply. Hopefully reply, definitely reply. Okay, take care everyone, bye.